Welcome into Prep Zone Wrap Up, presented by Bevel State Community College. I'm Brad Elmore of WJLX 101.5, alongside the sports editor of the Daily Mountain Eagle, Jonathan Bentley. Jonathan, another week in the books, and we're winding down, man. Uh, the region uh, schedule will be over this coming week, and uh, then one more non-region game before we get to the playoffs. Be over. I mean, that's the thing. When the season starts, it's always just go, go straight through. Boom, it's over, you know. Yeah. Like, like Bailey says, you have 10, 10 weeks. That's all you're guaranteed. we got two you, more. That, that's exactly right. Let's get right to it. The Oakman Wildcats, a big winner over Vinemont, 28-6. to six. Caden Marchbanks, 14 carries, 220 yards, three touchdowns. A.J. Odom, four tackles for a loss and two sacks in the game. Uh, a good effort there. And is Oakman kind of peaking at the right time, right before playoff, you think? I do think that. And – they had to have that game. They just yeah. kind of took – it was a business-type game. Yeah. Took care of business, moved on, and they've clinched the second spot, so they will be at home. Yeah, and that's what they were looking to do is catch that uh, – clinch that second spot in the region race. Now, they do have one more game left. That's deterrent. But you might got to figure they're going to win that ball game. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, really, they clinch it with a win over Tarrant, I think, uh, but they've, they've got a second. Technically, you're right. Yeah. Yes, they do still have to win that game. Everyone's still saying they've clinched, and, and <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but Oak, but a big winner over Vinemont, 28-6. Uh, to six. Seven and Christian, the Eagles uh, had a big game on the road, and they beat Coosa Christian 33-7. Coosa Christian, what is their mascot? Oh, do you know this? Um, I, I believe so, the Conquerors. Oh, that's a different one. That is a different one. Like not, not, not the Bulldogs or anything like that, but the Conquerors. And they were conquered <laughs> exactly. by, by somebody but, Christian. I mean, usually those Christian schools are called the Eagles. Right, yeah. The Conquerors is something different. But, yeah, they, they, uh, I was surprised. I thought they'd be closer than that. They really they wore them out. Uh, Cannon to four and Jack Gable two total touchdowns in a ball game. But uh, next up for uh, somebody Christian, Got to go on the road, a long road trip to Valley Head, which will, uh, you know, and they're still kind of, what's what's it looking like in the region race for them? They're still jockeying a yeah, little bit. Yeah, they got to win this one. They've got to win. They had to beat Cusa, and now they got to go all the way to basically Georgia and beat yeah. Valley Head. Yeah, yeah, I that's think that's right below Mentone, am I yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, it is a trip. Yeah. Um, let's uh, stay in East Walker County, Dora. Uh, they all go on the road and a, and a game that they really needed to win at Good Hope and lose by a point, 15 to 14. Ah, that defense has been incredible. Fourth best in, uh, going into the game, fourth best in Class 4A. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Chavis came there, and the defense has just been lights out. Mm -hmm. And the, if they could just score a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, they, they <laughs> just were. Just a little. Just a little. They were one point shy, and I believe they had a penalty or something happened, uh, and, and Good Hope went for two and uh, scored the conversion to put them ahead 15 to 14. But what a way to lose a ball game by a point like that on the road. I mean, it came into one, one play. There you go. That's the play. Yep. And, it, and another team that it doesn't get any easier, Etowah. Etowah's not the Etowah of old, but they're still pretty good. But this is a game that's big for Dora. Yeah, I mean, they showed Good Hope is the front runner, and they very well could have beat them. And now you go to Etowah. They can win that game. They could win the game, once again, on the road. But now where does Dora stack up as far as the playoff pictures concerned? Now they're behind Aniana and Good Hope. Yeah, so they're going to have to go on the road, it looks like, uh, for, yeah. for the first round. All right, a, a team that is out of the playoff picture but had a big night, Carbon Hill, the Bulldogs, beat Tarrant. Who doesn't beat Tarrant, though? I'm sorry. 53-8 uh, right. to eight, um, was the final. Devin Daniel, 294 all-purpose yards, five touchdowns, eight carries for 245 yards and three touchdowns, two catches for 49 yards and two scores. <laughs> big night for him. <laughs> but uh, but it's Tarrant. Tarrant. It, it was get well time after the opening loss last week. Yeah, it, it, it makes you feel good for sure. And and kudos to Carbonell for taking care of business. You know, this is a game that, you know, a lot of people would overlook, maybe even Oakman this week, having to play Tarrant. But uh, they took care of business early and kind of cruised to victory. This helps going into that Winfield game. I was about to say, sixth-ranked <laughs> yeah. Winfield looms now, and uh, that's not going to be easy. No, another playoff team in the Winfield Pirates. Um, Meek, let's travel up to Winston County. Meek, they went on the road to square off with the fourth-ranked team in the state, Pickens County. They lose it 22-6. to 
Cam Deaver with the only rushing touchdown of the ball game. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, they had uh, uh, Pickens had a big opening quarter, and then it was scoreless after that. Yeah, they helped. I mean, there's no moral victories, but if there is, that's one. 22 to six against Pickens. That's a very strong showing on the road, too. I, I know it has to be disappointing for Coach Powell at Meek because I talked to him early last week, and he said, you know, we're not driving all the way there for a moral victory or <laughs> anything like that. We're going to win. And, you know, like I say, they had that one bad quarter, and they put together three good quarters, but you have to put together four, yeah. you know. And now for Meek, they host Barry in a, in a game that they're going to have to win. Yeah, I mean, now make this and just get in the playoffs. Just yeah, worry yeah, about that. Yeah, now it's just, yeah. And, you know, that this was for the region championship um, against Pickens, but now you're jockeying for position now because now it's all up in the air. Yep. Winston County beat Cold Springs. They go up the mountain and take care of business 37-7. Um, Riker Morgan, another big night, 217 all-purpose yards, four of eight passing for 109 yards and two touchdowns, 108 yards rushing with three scores. Ethan Morgan, his brother, 12 carries, 128 yards in the game. But uh, Winston County, another one of those teams, had a great year last year, made the playoffs, but this year it looks like they're going to be eliminated. Yeah, and Riker Morgan's had a great year too. Yeah. He's kind of picked up where Owens was last year, Austin Owens. And uh, coming up next for Winston County, a meeting with Aliceville, another one of the top teams in that region. Your story starts at Bevel State Community College. Whether you are just starting out or starting over, Bevel State has an opportunity that is right for you. With five locations serving seven counties, you don't have to go far to start your own success story. Plus, with tuition lower than four-year colleges, you won't need to spend more for a great education. Visit us online at bscc.edu to learn about your options for seamless academic transfer and high-demand career tech and health science offerings. Let us help you tell your story. Addison, uh, they pull out a big victory over um, Hamilton. They go out of the region, one of the rare non-region games this week, but win by a point to Hamilton, 22-21 uh, at Addison. Well, it's crazy. They beat Haleyville and Hamilton this year. Right. And then, yet they still might not make the playoffs. Right, and, 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 and it's not looking good for the playoff picture for Addison. Tommy Lee Daniel, Justin Mather, and uh, Brian Berry, one uh, touchdown each. Now, the thing for Addison is this week they host Sullivan, and that's the final regular season game for them. So uh, it, it doesn't look like they're, they're going to make the playoffs. But uh, So this may be it for one last hurrah for Addison this week. they got to hope for chaos. Yeah, they do. And just hope it goes their way. And uh, let's see. Haleyville took care of Curry. 55-8 to eight was the final in that one. It got ugly early. And... Um, Ended, I think, with a hot clock, 55-8. Yeah, I mean, at least they're back on the field. Yes, that's a good part. And, yeah, two more to go for them. Yeah, they have what? <laughs> Gordo this week? Gordo. <laughs> and then they, they, they close the season at home, West Point. But yeah. Gordo this week. And finally, South Lamar uh, defeats Lynn, 32-26. South Lamar, big victory. Uh, Lynn, they're close. Coach Hastings going to get there, I think. But just not quite there this year. Yeah, I mean, they've had so many close games. Lost all of them, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, hammered Vina, but, yeah, I mean, it's going to take a couple. They lost a lot of seniors last year, so he comes in with this young team. He'll get them going the right direction. Prep Zone Wrap-Up is presented by Bevel State Community College and Kilgore Green Funeral Home. And finally, the game of the week, Jasper and Mortimer Jordan. The Blue Devils into town. Jasper taking care of business, 54-38. Another high-scoring affair between these two teams. Yeah, I mean, if you like offense, this is the team you want to watch. Mm -hmm. They will entertain you no matter what. And at some point, they're going to probably have the lead. You just don't know which way it's going to go. This time, they took the lead and just pulled away. Some of the stats, Trayvon Stewart, 32 carries, 280 yards, three touchdowns. Jody Hester, hammer time, four rushing touchdowns. Rosenfeld, 243 all-purpose yards with a touchdown. Eight of ten passes for 110 yards and a touchdown. Nine carries, 133 uh, yards and a score. 
Uh, but let's talk about uh, the defense a little bit. Landon Castillo played really well, 12 tackles. Uh, Caldwell registered eight and two interceptions in the ball game. But you mentioned the offensive output. Uh, 561 toe yards for that Jasper O. Great. I mean, yeah, it's cre incredible what they're doing this year. And, I mean, I will give defense credit. They had five guys out and did, mm -hmm. did the job. They got the win. Got the win. Hopefully, some of these guys will be back this week because looming for the Vikings, the final region game at 7th-ranked Pinson Valley. <laughs> it never gets easy, does it? No. It's always somebody around the corner. The Indians await, and uh, that'll be the game uh, Friday night for Jasper. You can hear that game live on WJLX 101.5. We'll be on the air Friday starting at about 6 o'clock for our pregame coverage from Pinson. So we're looking forward to that. Anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Let's en just enjoy these last two weeks. Yep, yeah, and uh, it's going to be the final two weeks for many of our teams around the area, and then they'll be airing up the basketballs, getting ready for oh, basketball wow. season. But uh, some of the other teams going to make the playoffs. Like uh, I was talking with Coach Powell earlier in the week at MIG. He says, mm -hmm. you know, uh, before the game with Pickens, he said, you know, we feel like we have eight more games. And that's <laughs> yeah. the way to think. You know. <laughs> wow. You know, that's the way to, to think yeah, if you're heading right. into the playoffs because you're going to uh, try to have five more. But anyway, that's uh, the story of this week. We appreciate uh, our sponsor, Bevel State Community College. Also, Kilgore Green Funeral Home, 1200 Birmingham Avenue, downtown Jasper. Telephone 384-9503. For our producer, Jeffrey Winborn. For Jonathan Bentley of the Daily Mountain Eagle. I'm Brett Elmore from WJLX 1015. And we will talk to you again next week.